Watch it, coward. Okay, here. We're, we're doing it. Some of you are wondering why OK Buddy Hassan has been under quarantine. And by some of you, I mean no one is actually wondering that. It's just literally just the same fucking people that are in OK Buddy, that post in OK Buddy, that are wondering. And I literally have not. I have no idea. I, I don't know. I hope this video finally clears the air. No, it's not a Chinese ballistic missile, though. This is a North Korean. Comrade Lamb, it's been done, sir. Dark Brand. <laughs> so I still don't understand it. I thought that that would be explanatory on why OK Buddy is uh, under quarantine, but I guess. The moderators of r slash okay buddy Hassan have set this community as private. Only approved members can view and take part in its discussions. Uh, in its discussions. So what is it? Like I, I can't see it. Why? Because it's a sixty nine k. We don't even know if it has sixty nine thousand. Uh, I can't see it. Are you not a mod? No. Wait, you're locked out of your own Reddit? No, it is not my own Reddit. This is... Check the vid's description. This is, much like most of the other shit, uh, fan-owned and fan-operated. And there's no, nothing in the description. So what? What is it? Wasn't even a mod of Megalol? Wait, I don't understand. Internet leftists go on strike without established list of grievances? Oh, it's not. There's a poop sock in this one. Okay, you got me. Mod check. Okay, buddy, mods, mod check. What? It's not even that. Check Tom the Catman's message. Man, offliners are so fucking cringe. I don't know which community is more cringe in my own community. Is it the OK Buddy posters or is it the fucking offliners? <laughs> it's so incredibly self-referential. We already saw this. Oh my god. This was like one of the biggest problems with OK Buddy that it like would turn into like a self-referential circle jerk and offliners do the exact same shit. Definitely the Haas quarters. I can't believe y'all make the Haas quarters uh, look good, okay? No, you make Haas quarters look good. First attack 
on this republic in modern history. Fox News is reacting to Mar-a-Lago search like it's the purge, so I turned it into a, a horror movie trailer. Period. We have a Fox News alert. Earlier today, the FBI raided the former president's Florida home. Feds were executing a search warrant. This is the deep state's revenge. This is an abomination. And tragic end to the American dream. We don't live in Cuba. We don't live under Kim Jong-un. Jesse, it almost feels like a preemptive coup. Think about this. If this is what they're able to do to the former president of the United States, think about what they could do to you. They gave him the political enema of his life. I feel violated. The whole country feels violated. The FBI right now is the Gestapo. Venezuela or the East German Stasi. The FBI has become a Praetorian guard from Rome. The East... German uh, Stasi in the Cold War. We're living now in a banana republic. They say banana republic. It looks like banana republic stuff, as everyone said. Banana republic. Banana republic. Banana republic. A Venezuelan, Zimbabwean, East German style banana republic. Donald Trump takes some documents that he had every right to take, that every president does. That's like a librarian sending armed agents into your house. We're in a political and ideological war. They want to control you. Wait, what? That's like a librarian sending armed agents into your house. I had not heard that one before. That was that's a good one. Why doesn't this ever happen to a Democrat? I just want to say in closing, listen, America, they're laughing at you. The left thinks this is hilarious. If you doubt me, just go to any of their goofy platforms, Twitter or elsewhere right now. They think this is hilarious. It's true. He's right. I mean, that is true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. That's right. Damn, this is like criminally underrated. Holy shit. Criminally underrated. 597 likes. Are you kidding me? The Twitter employee was recruited by the Saudi intelligence to spy on opponents. Oh, here. The, the Twitter employee was recruited by Saudi intelligence to spy on opponents of the kingdom was just convicted. If you look at the now deleted website of the firm that recruited him, they bragged that they worked for the Trump MBS summit in 2017. That's why the idea that like Twitter is just like fucking libtards or whatever, and it's like totally different than anyone else. Um, all right, there it is. It's opened up again. Problem is, the last time we had fucking memes on OK Buddy was like seven days ago. I want to do I want to do a, a a daily OK Buddy. Okay, I want not a daily, sorry, a weekly OK Buddy. The irony is people left when you quarantined it or when you privated it and now it's not even at 69k. Okay. I was going to say no fucking shot daily okay buddy. No, I can't do a daily okay buddy. Also, it would suck if we did a daily okay buddy. What? We have seen these already. I did not want to do this, Hassan. You leave me no choice. Fire OK Buddy posts you have missed. Edit. Do what you can, Haas. I'll keep a record of what you look at and remove from the list. I know it's a lot. Recent posts you missed from England and Amsterdam. Quick Clean Boys tribute to Don. Guys, are you ever just chilling and then... I'm talking about bald guy over here, Mr. Fucking. Okay, right now, this lot is hot. You must be clean. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm behind you, motherfucker. All right, I guess I'm married now. What? What the fuck? You guys hear that? Inside me. Oh What's my going God, on? Daddy. Yeah, I think you're playing a game right now, my friend. I'm hard being hard. You guys.
That's fire. Guys. This was an unreal error for your stream? Yeah, a lot of you don't even know about this. Oh, man. RP was a year and a half ago. People need to move on. It's unhealthy. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy that, like, people are still pushing for RP. It's been a year and a half, you know? Flying with Azan and Austin. We've seen all these memes. Like, I'm 100% certain that we saw all of those memes. See, that's the thing. Like, I don't do okay, buddy, but, I, it, but because of that... People literally just send them. Like, people just send them in the chat. JBP Devil Woman. Enjoy a fun little JBP Hassan song. We saw this as well, didn't we? I left Gamble. I left Gamble. I left. I left Twitter. Like, like this. No, only you've seen them. You check it offline. No, we've seen like half of these, bro. We look at these on stream. Future Funk to start a socialist revolution too, featuring Hank Peck. Okay, I'm not going to watch that. Like a lot of music songs. A song walk also DMCA free. Okay, that's another. It's like three minutes of me walking. I can't look at that. Oh, what's wrong, nerd? I thought you loved Nuggies. Oh, no. Stop it. This one's fire. This I had not seen. Okay? Fire. Actually fire. You did a RP stream with no intro off the rip? Yeah, I mean, I was a, I was a crack addict. Okay? Yes, chatter. I have covered Scott Perry. Okay? Officially making the biggest robber baron of the world richer to support the biggest socialist in the country. Oh, the dichotomy seems so America. Yeah, well. You understand that there is no uh, way to avoid that, right? He was down to 20 minutes of politics a day. Yeah, I was not doing politics at all. Okay. Um, never forget when you when that one chatter drew Pokemon for like a year for you to play it and you never did. That's true. Okay. Well, the reason why I was doing so much RP and didn't want to do fucking politics at that time was also because it it was like right after the election. I was all politicked out. <laughs> 